hands like this and show that you are fine and healthy. Yes, very good. Here is a silent hug for you all. I have a welcome song for you and you all will have to sing along with me as I welcome you. So let's begin. Hi, hello and how do you do? PJK welcomes you. Hi, hello and how do you do? PJK welcomes you. This is the way we sing and play and learn new things each day. Hi, hello and how do you do? PJK welcomes you. Work and roll and make new friends. Work and roll and make new friends. The work, the fun will never end. Hi, hello and how do you do? BJK welcomes you. Welcome my dear sweet, sweet, lovely, lovely, lovable, adorable, darling, charming, enchanting, engaging, delightful kids of Sinekiji class. Welcome you all to the day nine and Today's special skill of the day, let's begin SEW time. So what is the special skill of the day for today? You have to collect all the, all the trash, unwanted, unwanted materials in the house and throw it in the dustbin. But ensure that the house remains clean, okay, neat and clean. So what you all have to do, children, you have to clean the house, okay? You have to collect all the trash from your house and you have to put it in the bin. So clean it and then afterwards don't forget to wash your hands properly for 20 seconds. So this is the special skill of today. So do uh, the activity, do it and uh, please do send me the pics of your child uh, doing the activities for parents it is. Yes. So let's begin with the E that is E everything to do with day, date and month of the year. And this month is, you know that August month it is going on and the uh, year is 2020. You can see the weather for the day chart here. Uh, you can tell what is the weather, how is the weather outside Okay, on that particular day. That is uh, on the day you are watching the video or on the day you are uh, telling about the, you are preparing the video about the weather. So how is the weather day today? Is it sunny? Is it raining? Is it stormy, cloudy? Only one type of weather will be there, isn't it? Yes. So observe and tell your parents about it. Yes, we are going to recite the days of the week. And children, I know you are very excited because you all know the days of the week, isn't it? So tell me, come on, recite with me. Can you tell me which day is going on? Yes, this is the, tell me, come on fast. This is the Friday today and we are on day nine, isn't it children? So let's start days of the week recitation. After Friday, which day comes? Saturday and on Saturday and Sunday we are having holiday for PJK, isn't it children? So let's start. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Come on again one, one more time. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. That's right. So let's recite the months of the year. Zuzu also will recite with you. Come on. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. That's right, children. So who is going to tell me the national bird? That's right. It's peacock. And national animal is tiger. Little faster we will go. Then the national flower is lotus, national fruit is mango and national tree is banyan tree. That's correct. So the first time for the day is if you are happy and you know it. Yes, you, we are doing this line from the session one itself. So let's start. Let's begin. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know it, say ha ha. If you are happy and you know it, say ha ha. 
If you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you are happy and you know it, say ha ha. If you are happy and you know it, turn around. If you are happy and you know it, turn around. If you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you are happy and you know it, turn around. If you are happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you are happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you are happy and you know it, snap your fingers. So let's go for the next rhyme. And the rhyme for today is the seeds grow. Come on, let's sing now. The gardener plants the seeds. The gardener plants the seeds. Deep down inside the ground. Deep down inside the ground. The gardener plants the seeds. The rain clouds give them water. Who gives the rain? The rain clouds give them water. The rain clouds give them, give them water. Seeds need some water to drink. Seeds need some water to drink. The sun gives heat and light. The sun gives heat and light. Seeds like it warm and bright. Seeds like it warm and bright. The gardener pulls the weeds. The gardener pulls the weeds. Seeds need the room to grow. Seeds need the room to grow. The gardener pulls the weeds. The seeds grow into flowers. The seeds grow into flowers. Flowers that are beautiful. Flowers that are beautiful. The seeds grow into flower. I dig my garden. Dig. I dig my garden. Dig, dig, dig. I dig my garden. Deep it. Dig it deep. I sow my seeds and I watch them grow. So this is the rhyme related to seeds and we are learning related uh, the seeds uh, germination. We are uh, just doing that. Okay. The experiment we did. Then the uh, story uh, uh, is there in understanding my word about Rahul who is planting the seeds. Okay. He's sowing the seeds and what all things are needed to uh, grow the seeds to grow. Okay. The sunlight is necessary. There, there should be proper nutrient soil. Then water should be there. Okay. We should give water daily and uh, there should be uh, uh, sufficient amount of uh, space there and uh, light and heat is uh, should be is very essential for growing the seeds into a plant isn't it children so this is the uh, rhyme related to it you must have enjoyed it do the repetition of it yes the next time is rainbow there's an arch in the rainbow so pretty, so pretty, there's an arch in a rainbow with colors you see. There's an arch in a rainbow, so pretty, so pretty, there's an arch in a rainbow with colors you see. The sun after the rain makes the colors, the sun after the rain makes the colors you see. And there's yellow soap, there's red and there's orange, there's red and there's orange and there's yellow so pretty. There's a red and there's orange and there's yellow, you see. There's an arch in a rainbow, so pretty, so pretty. There's an arch in a rainbow with colors, you see. There's green and there's blue and there's violet, so pretty. There's green and there's blue and there's violet, you see. There's an arch in a rainbow uh, with colors, you see. There's an arch in a rainbow, so pretty, so pretty. Yes, this is the rhyme related to rainbow. And let's go for the next one. Trees. Yes, are you ready? How we have we want to take you want to take a break? No break. Come on, let's start. Neem people banyan, coconut mango banana, tamarind gulmohar, eucalyptus ashoka. Tree shot, tree tall. Tree shot, tree tall. Trees large, trees small. Trees large, trees small. There's are there trees are homes for birds and bees. Trees are homes for birds and bees. Trees dance and sway in breeze. Tree, trees dance and sway in breeze. Trees lush, trees bare. Trees cool and clean the air. Plants trees everywhere. For trees are precious friends rare. For trees trees are precious friends rare. So beautiful rhyme this is. So the next one is Barish Kegi. This is the Hindi rhyme and let's begin. Are you ready children? Yes. Barish jab aati hai to froggy aata hai. Barish jab aati hai to froggy aata hai. Hop hop karke wo 
घूमता रहता है हॉप हॉप करते वो घूमता रहता है मिट्टी से निकलकर अथवम आता है मिट्टी से निकलकर अथवम आता है स्नेल भी धीरे धीरे चलता रहता है स्नेल भी धीरे धीरे चलता रहता है फ्रॉगी बोला बच्चों जैसा मेरा छाता है फ्रॉगी बोला बच्चों जैसा मेरा छाता है मालूम है बच्चों उसका मशरूम नाम है छम 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 बारिश आए भीग जाते हैं छम 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 बारिश आए भीग जाते हैं आओ बच्चों मिलकर हम भुट्टा खाते हैं आओ बच्चों मिलकर हम भुट्टा खाते हैं सो चिल्ड्रन वी हैव कम्पीटेड ऑल द फाइव राइम्स एंड नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द लिटरेसी सिंफोनिक्स डे नाइन एंड दिस इज द टाइम फॉर Uh, recitation of the alphabets A to Z. So take your hands, yes, like this, and you have to wave your hands, okay? And then you have to change the action like this, okay? Okay. So one time we will wave our hands, and one time we will do like this. Come on, let's start. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. So children, very nice. We have completed our recitation, and now before we start the sounds, okay, we are going to say the golden yes rules. Yes, come on, sit straight, hands on your lap. Yes, start. Elephant ears, magnetic eyes. Clean your desk for learning. Hands on your laps to concentrate. Sweet talking mouth to say the sound and politeness. So where you have to keep your hands on your laps. Now be straight. Sit straight. Yes. Concentrate what your teacher is saying to you. Yes. Listen to your teacher. And now look at me and observe and tell me the answers. Whatever things I'm asking you, tell me. Okay, let's start. You can see the letter. Which letter it is uh, there on the screen? Tell me the letter name. Yes, it is letter S. Absolutely correct, children. So, what is its sound? Tell me the sound and the yes keyword of it. Okay, tell me the sound and the keyword. Snake. Snake. That's right. This is letter A. And what is its sound? A. Ah. Do it with action. Ah, and you tell me the keyword. And, ah, and the next is T. Letter T. The, the name of the letter is T. Yes. And what is its sound? T. Table. T. Table. Next letter is P. P. Popcorn. Tell me the keyword. P. Popcorn. Yes. The next letter is N. Mm, nail, mm, nail, letter I, I, ink pot. You remember children the story of Ibrahim? Yes, I, ink pot. The next one is a lamp, a lamp, ladybug. Yes, ladybird. The next one is D and the sound is D, dancing, D. Dancing, or you can do the d drums. Yes, d d d drums. Next one is yes, fan. That's right. Horse. Oh, oh, octopus. Cat. Kite. Caterpillar. Yes, now we are going to do the sky writing. We are doing the sound review of letter C and K today, right, children? So we are going to first write the letter C. Okay, we are going to do the sky writing. So what you all will do, you will keep your index finger, okay, in the sky like this, okay. And as I am doing, as your teacher is writing on the screen, you will start writing in the air. So let's begin. I am going to tell you the uh, numbers one, two, three, and in that way you have to 
okay take a curve you have to you have to ride in the sky come on let's begin take your finger yes that's correct one two and three that's right you have to start from here and not here you can see here the dot dot isn't it so first one see the arrow how it is moving two and three that's right very good children fantastic so the next next letter letter is k okay sorry and uh, c k and c k have the same sound as i have told before okay so the sound of k is k k kite do the action k kite that's right yes and how do we write letter k small k that is lower case k yes put your finger in the air like this and let's begin you can see on the screen now how, how i am doing one come on me move your finger then deck slightly up to and three to the curve and then a slanting line and then a curve little bit about yes four so one more time we will do little bit faster than before one two three four and five that's right children absolutely correct so children it's time to read some green words and the tricky words okay we have already done the uh, green words and tricky words just we are going to do the revision of it now and you are going to read it at home and you are you are after reading this all uh, page this full page you are going to put here the date correct so i'm going to read the instructions for you words to learn the first one are green words okay in the green card here you can see c a t so you have to say the letters first c a t and then you have to say the sounds cat cat that's right the next one is k i d e d kid absolutely correct c a p cat cat h o p s o hops l i f t u e lift that's correct k i t yes k i t kit that's right so tricky words are read like that only okay you have to remember the sound a t h e d h e he we have already done this by the repetition you are going to know the uh, you you are able you will be able to read those words the tricky words okay a the and he are uh, t o t are the tricky words come on let's begin a yes this is the green word c a t cat a kid cat a kid cat cob cop a kid cat cop hops the kid cat cop hops to lift the kit that's right so you have to try this reading okay at home uh, try to read the green words okay two three times then only you will be able to read the sentences given below okay and the tricky words okay yeah with the help of the pronunciation you have to do you have to do with the help of the sounds only okay you have to read the words with the help of the sounds so let's go for the next one you can see here letter a yes this is the uh this is uh, the uh, red color letter a that means it has uh, it it is a tricky word t h e d yes t h e d t o t again we will read t o t yes children so we have completed but before we complete there is something remaining fun with games wow it's time for some fun games and listen to the uh, listen to do so what is the uh, fun game today's fun game children yes um you have to parents to associate uh, actions with the alphabets uh, okay children and okay parents explain and show each action to the children okay so letter f fly like a bird associate the alphabet and give them the action so f represents fly like a bird s re represents shine like a flower okay by waving hands you can give the actions any uh, action like or you can show like this okay uh, m make elephant trunk like this elephant trunk okay m make elephant trunk w 
Walk like a duck. Walk like a duck. Yes. How did a walk? duck walks? Dance. D. Dance like a peacock. Dance like a peacock. C. Chew like a cow. Mm. And R. Roar like a lion. So parents, you do all the, uh, your parents, you have to give the alphabets and the actions. You have to tell the children, explain them and uh, the actions associated with that alphabet. alphabet. So this was all about fun with games. Play the game and please do send the picture and video of your child doing this fun game, playing with this fun game. I'm just going to uh, go fast, a little bit faster now. Parent-child interaction. This I'm going to discuss it in the team link uh, 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 in our meeting in the parent and teacher uh, interaction meet. But uh, just one explanation I'm going to give you. Literacy Symphonics. Try to watch the activity video on sound review of letter C and K. Parents to do the follow-up activity with the child using the parent resource sheet. Active exploration is there. Music and movement time. Listen to the music and have fun. Be creative and dance around. Children, don't forget to take your parents along with you and tell them to do the actions, okay, on the music, on the beats, okay, and make your child, uh, your, make your parents to dance. It's your responsibility now. Role play, uh, the uh, active exploration, the second one is role play and tea party. You have to act like you are in a tea party, okay. Children can play with uh, ready-made teacup sets uh, and cre recreate the tea party with their parents. Uh, siblings and even their, uh, even with their toys, okay, encourage all family members to come together for the tea party, uh, invite them and encourage your child to pretend to make tea and serve all the family members. It will be so much fun doing this activity, isn't it? Uh, doing the tea party at your house and the children, uh, children will be the host for the tea party. So the next one is child independent activity understanding my world okay the first activity is yoga and i know all my all my students love to do yoga uh, and, and they are doing it very well legs up wall yoga pose is the name of today's uh, yoga uh, pose and uh, please go through the poster and do according to uh, the instructions given there so the next one is special chores of the day so today you will help your child now parents it's for you to collect all the trash and throw in the dustbin the whatever things they are doing in the special skill of the day that thing i'm explaining you in the special chores of the day so to the parents it is ensure that no trash is lying around in the house encourage your child to wash their hands with so properly after throwing the trash okay in the dustbin right so parents and children, this was all about the day nine. Uh, you must have enjoyed it. And bye-bye. And have a nice day. See ya.